Um, scooting this one out of the way. So let's do, we're gonna do this one first because it features, okay, can you see? Oops, there, now we're in view. This is the new Tasteful Textile. So this, this embossing folder that we're gonna give away free with your $30 order, the Tasteful Textile embossing folder. So it's just, it's kind of like the subtle embossing folder, but it's more, there's more to it, but it's still very subtle as well, right? We use some of this ribbon, which we used most of it on, um, on my downline make and takes in those um, one sheet wonder cards I just showed you. So I have a little strip of it left. You're going to laugh when you see <laughs> how I used uh, what I have left to make this card with, but it'll work, right? And then this is some more of that forever greenery designer series paper. So that pattern is that one right there. And then that's the back side of it too. So, oh yes. And Sally, yes, I've been using the magnetic sheets and that's the, actually the other thing that Lily has been doing for me. These got tucked away, I think, cause they were with my card for the video. So she did them all except this one. So when I get more, I kind of do them in slews, right? So yes. Oh, awesome, Susan. Yeah, this embossing folder you're going to love. Yes, so many good ideas. Thank you, guys. I love all of your sharing there. All right, let's see. We're going to pull out this one. We need some of those. All right, so here we go. Let me show you. Scoot that one over there, right? Okay, so we start. This is just jade, you guys. It's a really just a soft, pretty kind of a... I say green at first, but I see some blue in it too. They're all kind of dusty. It's funny because I, I didn't expect them to seem dusty looking until um, I'm looking at the cardstock, and that's when I kind of feel that. Um, let's see. Okay, you guys are asking questions amongst yourselves, aren't you? Okay, I'm going to let you respond. <laughs> And if I missed anything, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll catch that later. So here is our Just Jade. This is a full sheet of Just Jade cardstock. Are we not really in view too well, are we there? Let's scoot this up there. Can you guys see? There's the bottom. There we go, Amy. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so along, this time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it to make our tall card at five and a half inches, okay? So it's gonna go like that, right? Then we have lots of pieces here. Let's see. I loved the layers on this one, right? So next, this is a sheet of Pretty Peacock cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then our piece of designer series paper, there's one side, there's the other side. This one measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And that's how you get just that little peak around the edges there, right? And then we've got a very vanilla piece and this one measures four and one quarter by three and a half. And then we just have some scrap pieces of um, vanilla to do our stamping, and then these we're gonna do our die cutting with. Oh, I forgot one more. We actually have this piece that is that one right there that we are going to emboss, and then this one measures two, oops, excuse me, two inches by five and one eighth inches. And again, I'll have all the dimensions on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? All right, so let's see, we're gonna do our stamping. So I've got my Very Vanilla, just this extra scrap piece of Very Vanilla. And I'm gonna use Pretty Peacock ink, because again, I can tell from my little samplers here, this is my Pretty Peacock. So we've got, I listed them out, Garden Green, this is Just Jade, Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, Soft Sea Foam, and then the last one is Whisper White down there. So. Yes, you guys. Okay, I know you're talking about the vent covers. Yes, they're awesome. Vent covers, Home Depot, Menards. Just go to like the heating and cooling section or ask somebody where the vent covers are. Um, yeah, they're like long, you know, like an old old fashioned vent that you want to cover up and they're magnetic. They're fabulous. Okay, there we go. To a friend that makes me smile. Love that sentiment, right? Did I show you? I did, right? Maybe, I don't know, let's talk about these. You can do this, hello, love and laughter forever after, and to a friend that makes me smile. That's the one that we used right down there. Okay, so that's all the stamping that we did. 
let's do our die cutting now. Okay. And our embossing too. So we'll do the die cutting first and then I'll show you that super cool new embossing folder. Okay. So we've got that. We are going to put, these are just scraps of, I guess I should tell you that. We've got Pretty Peacock and then this is our new Just Jade. That, that is one of them that we're going to cut. So we've got that all ready to go there, right? Okay, let's see. What can we do? Maybe like that and that. Is that going to do it for me? Okay, so then these were all of the dies. The, what are they called? The Forever Flourishing dies. All right, so what do we need? This cute little, almost looks like, I don't know. Looks like a baby toy. Why can't I think of what it would be like a caterpillar kind of a toy thingy? I don't know. <laughs> and then we're going to use this one. So I like how those kind of just wrapped around the sentiment. Okay. And then from our oldie but a goodie stitched shape dies, this is our circle with the stitching. This is the second largest circle is what we're going to use around our sentiment there. Okay. So I think we have everything there make sure that is on okay here we go we'll crank these things out <laughs> sorry i missed so many of your comments you guys were like commenting like crazy and i couldn't keep up i feel bad because usually i feel like i can kind of keep up on things okay so look at aren't those kind of fun so there's this one they look better Ooh, and it's kind of embossed too lily was complaining about this last night it's so etched in there they're like sticking she gave me this one back too. <laughs> there. So those are the fun little dies right there. And now let's do our embossing. Let's get these guys out of the way. Okay. So we'll do the new, is it tasteful textile? It, it just looks like, like it looks very fabric-y. So here you can kind of get a little better idea just by looking at the folder, right? So I want this to go in straight, so I'm gonna line it up. Make sure I'm in view. I'm gonna line it up along that little line there. Put that down, got that one, okay. So yeah, like I said, they um, haven't told us when the new die cutting, the stamp and cut and emboss machine, they haven't told us when that's gonna be ready. So as soon as we know, then we'll let you guys know. Because I know we're all dying to check it out, right? To get situated over there okay so all right are you ready da, 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 da. <laughs> okay woohoo isn't that cool look at all of that texture it just looks like a nubby fabric doesn't it oh my gosh so there's one side right there's like an innie and an outie i don't know however you <laughs> the positive and negative whatever you want to say about those but super cool embossing folder there okay so let's see okay here, uh, no, I'm gonna show you that in a sec because I think it's just too funny. Okay, all right, I think we got everything. So let's go ahead. We're gonna start putting things together. This one's a couple of steps and I had to really think about how I wanted to put this together. Let's bring this kind of back in. Yeah, you guys can see that there, right? Okay, adhesive we need. All right, so I know the first step is gonna be to put our designer series paper down, right? So, there's a part of me, I've already put too much adhesive on, but there's a part of me that kind of wonders what would this card look like if we did that side instead. Might have to try that on another one. I should have, oh, I wish I would have thought of it sooner, but actually, is that going to be crazy? I think I, here, let's do this. I'm so curious now to know. This, I have an extra one that's perfectly cut. Eh, no, it's a little bit too wide, isn't it? That's right. Never mind. I was thinking I could use that. Um, next time. I'll show you the back side next time. Okay, so there's that piece, right? And then we're going to add our very vanilla on here. My snails, like Erin said the other day, my snail's like acting up because it knows it's going to be replaced by the stamp and seal. Oh, speaking of that, if you guys need snails, if you need refills, let me know. I'm happy to get an order in for you so that you get your stockpile if you're going to be missing those, which I know we're all going to be missing those, right? Okay, but I'm really curious about the new stamp and seal too because this is being... Kind of frustrating. Normally, I have only good things to say about snail too. 
Um, okay, so we're going to lay this one down on here. Now, the next step, we're going to tie our ribbon around. Okay, so guys, literally, this is all I had was like two little strips. You can see I'm at the very end of my ribbon with the tape on it. And then I had this strip. I don't know. So I had to tie them <laughs> together so that I could have enough ribbon to show you guys. I'm going to order more next week when I can, but I ordered everything I could. So no one will ever know that that silly little knot is back there, right? So we're going to tie our pretty bow on here. <laughs> oh yeah, you could do it in strips too. You're right. Then then you wouldn't use quite as much. That's a good idea too, Diana. And you know what? I feel like I need to flip this. We're going to make it go this way because I need a little bit. I want the bow over on this side and I was afraid I was going to pull too much so the knot in the back might come around the edge, but this is going to work just fine. This ribbon is really nice to work with. It's so soft. It almost feels like bandaging or something. <laughs> I, I can't remember. I don't know what they call it either, but it's really... It's really nice, um, but so it's so soft. And it makes these cute little, look at like the curly cue it makes there. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, there, so good. So we just have enough. I'm gonna snip this off. <laughs> and there's a little tape, but we'll, we'll get that off later, okay? And you guys probably can't even see that. I should just never say those things because you guys are far enough away, right, that you can't, <laughs> you can't even see. The ribbon is beautiful, isn't it, Philomena? Yeah. There. Okay, so we're going to scoot that kind of way around to the edge. Now we can add on our sentiment with some dimensionals, right? It is gauze-like. Yes, Tammy, I didn't even see you were on here. Yes. Yes, that's it. Gauze-like. Yes. Okay. So let's see. We'll scoot this down a little bit more. No, I wanted that down a little bit, right? Okay. So we're going to put that right there to a friend that makes me smile. And then let's see, we're just going to add, I just kind of tucked these behind the circle a little bit. And I kind of like to have them curl up. Actually, we probably do need a little bit more. There. Okay. So, and you know what, actually, I was realizing that I kind of almost, we're going to do it on both sides, but it's almost like I attached it more to um, back behind my circle, because I was looking at that trying to figure out how am I going to get that to stay on the ribbon, but that's what we'll do. We'll kind of do it on both parts. And then same thing here. We're going to put just a little bit on each of those, and then we're going to tuck this one in. Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have pressed so firmly. Okay, we'll get that in there though. Just kind of tuck that little baby, all these little, <laughs> there's so, I put so much adhesive on everything so it would stick. There we go. Okay, there. So we've got all of that kind of layered and I do kind of like to like lift those up a little bit and then our bow. Okay, let's see. We're gonna add some more adhesive. I want a bunch of adhesive on these right here and we're going to add all of this on to our card base our beautiful new green just jade card base right and then I just had I needed one more little thing here right so these are again all of the new in colors in the little enamel dots right so we're going to just pick up a couple of these guys and we're gonna pop them on our card. And there we go. What do you guys think? You see the texture on there too and that pretty ribbon? So fun to a friend that makes me smile. I love that sentiment. Okay, so there is one of our cards. Now, let's scoot this one 